Hello and welcome back to my studio. My name is Sarah and this is my painting journey. This is my weekly vlog where I document my journey to become a professional landscape and wildlife painter. So this week I want to talk a little bit about what I've got on the easel behind me. Uh, this is a worm study that has turned into something a little bit more. Uh, it's of, I found a nice reference of uh, Dinosaur National Monument in one of my free reference photos for artist group. So I thought I'd give it a try and work on it a little bit and really push myself to work on depth. That's one thing I know I'm lacking a little bit uh, in my plein air, in my studio works, is getting that, that illusion of depth and atmospheric pers uh, perspective in my paintings. So working on that, and this was a nice, the reference photo has a nice depth of field to it. So I thought it would be a good, fun attempt. Uh, so that is what I'm currently working on. I have a few other paintings in progress that are just kind of paused right now. Uh, the timeout pile is once again growing, unfortunately. But that means I've got a lot of other projects to do here coming up. So one thing I wanted to talk about today uh, is rejection and how to handle it. Because, as uh, you may know if you've been following the channel, a couple of weeks ago I entered the California Art Club Spring Awakening show. Uh, online digital show, um, but it, it was a juried show. And unfortunately, I didn't get in. Um, both my entries were rejected. Uh, didn't make it through the jurying process, which is really, really unfortunate. Um, really disappointing. I had really high hopes that I would get in. Um, yeah. So, it sucks. But what can you do? Um, I, I'm kind of looking back at my submission. I think I know why they didn't get in. Um, the one was of the deer painting that I was working on for weeks, trying to get the face right on that little thing. And while the painting itself came out good, it didn't come out great. So what I need to do is for these shows that I really, really want to get into, where I want that exposure, I'm, you know, I'm aiming not to win a cash prize or anything, I'm aiming to get exposure in these shows, I need to submit my best work, and which that right now is my landscape paintings. The second painting, the Table Mountain painting, I had really high hopes for. I thought that one was a shoe-in, uh, it fit the theme, it was similar to the other paintings that I'd submitted. However, when I look back at my submission, I realized that the photo I had taken of that painting had a shadow on it. So about the left one third was darker than the rest. And that I think is what did it. Uh, because you have to remember when you're submitting to these shows through online means, what is being juried, what is being judged, is not the painting itself. It's not the work of art itself. It's the photos that you submit of it. So those have to be spot on. They have to be as close to perfect as you can make them. And I wish I had caught that sooner. I could have rephotographed it, and it probably would have gotten in. But you live and learn. So how do you handle rejection as an artist? It, it can be really tough. We're sensitive, you know, delicate little creatures, us artists. And um, yeah, it can be really, really hard when a painting that you've spent weeks or months or years on, just you go to enter it in a show and it gets rejected. And it's like, what happens next? You know, all these thoughts start running through your head of, oh, I, I'm a terrible artist, I, I must be absolutely awful if they don't like me, my art must be bad if I'm not getting in. But you have to push those negative thoughts aside. Now, I will admit I did go into a little bit of a depressive slump this past week, which is why there was no video last week. And you know, kind of moped around a little bit, didn't paint a whole lot. Um, just kind of felt kind of down, you know, but 
I pulled myself out of it, got back to the easel and picked up the paintbrush again and kept working, which is what you have to do when you get rejected. You take it as a learning experience, move on, and keep working. Always keep working, keep painting, and try to produce the best painting possible. With each painting you do, it should be your best. That next painting, that's your best. Next painting after that, your best. Really the way to look at it. So, yeah. It, you know, disappointing, but it's not the end of the world. I have gotten into a California Art Club show before, which is why I had such high hopes of getting into this one. Um, so it's, you know, it's not the, the end all of everything. The next show that's coming up uh, from the California Art Club is called Lazy Days of Summer. The entry for that is ends April 16th, so I've got to get my entry together for that one. I'm going to enter two, possibly three paintings in that one. And I have, you know, now that I've learned a little bit, I, I have a better feeling about this one. So really looking forward to that show that is coming up. Also coming up on the schedule, April 29th and 30th, is the Gold Nugget Days Craft Fair in Paradise, California. So if you are in NorCal, stop by. Um, stop by on Saturday. There's a parade. It's really fun. And stop by the booth and say hi. And coming up after that, May 20th through the 28th, I believe it is, is the Lost Sierra Plain Air Festival. So that's in Quincy, California. Beautiful little town, beautiful area. And I can't wait to go up there and spend 10 whole days taking workshops and listening to lectures and watching demos and then going out and painting. Painting from sunup to sundown and then coming back and having a show after that. And a street fair where I'm gonna have all my paintings all them up for sale. And so if you are in, again, the NorCal region during that time frame, stop on by, please. Uh, we would love to have you come to that event. So that is what I've got going on this week. Uh, if you have enjoyed this video, please leave it a like. Um, comment down below. Let me know what you think. If you have any questions, please uh, leave them in the comments down below. I'll try to answer them on next week's vlog. Uh, subscribe if you'd like to see more. Again, I'm trying to put out weekly content. Um, you know, it varies a little bit, but weekly content for the most part. And uh, check out the description in the video or in the box down below. It's got links to all my socials, my Patreon, my coffee, uh, my Facebook, my Twitter, my Instagram, all that good stuff. Also links to my website, which has my full body of work, if you want to check that out. And my Etsy, where I have prints available of my work uh, up for purchase. So thank you guys so much for joining me today, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.